What's up guys? I'm going to be making a video today on how to uh, download Ubuntu and put that into a virtual box machine uh, for whatever you want to do with the virtualized Ubuntu box. Um, firstly, you want to go to, I just googled download Ubuntu and the first link should take you to this site and you know it's good when you got the HTTPS trusted lock. Uh, download that. I already have, and it'll download as a uh, disk file and ISO. So you, you shouldn't even have to unzip it. Um, and the next, what you want to do is, in order to create this Ubuntu virtual space on VirtualBox, you'll need to have VirtualBox. Um, assuming you do, go to New and Linux Ubuntu 64. It's a 64 bit uh, download and it should tell you uh, it's a 64 AMD uh, by default. I don't know if you can even get a 32 bit. I'm sure you can't, but uh, I didn't. Uh, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Ubuntu. Next. Okay, I already have one. Uh, Ubuntu. There we go. Um, I allocated two gigs, but you can probably get away with 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, but I have enough, so that's what I did. Uh, I wouldn't go below 512. I don't know what'll happen. Maybe you can do 256, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you want to create the virtual disk uh, VDI virtual disk box disk virtual box disk image. The first option, the default option. Next. Uh, I like to create the fixed virtual disk, uh, it's a bit faster. And then you can choose where you'd like to put it and allocate the space. I did 1997, so near 20 gigs. I don't know how small you want to get with it because some funky things might start happening. Uh, then you would create it and it would partition or do whatever it does to, you would create it, but I've already done that so I'm going to cancel it. And um, it'll take a couple minutes and it'll create your new Ubuntu virtual space. Um, now you want to go to storage, click the disk, the storage option, and then you're going to choose that disk, that ISO file. There we go. This is it, the Ubuntu. And okay, and now I'm gonna power it up, and it should take us to our uh, setting up a Ubuntu box, just like a normal desktop would. All right, and it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and record the whole install, just in case anyone who may be new to this knows what they can and can't skip. But most of it, you can just leave blank. Um, it's a pretty simple install. So, if you know what to do, that's pretty much the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, but if this is your first time, you just want to make sure that everything goes all right. Could not sit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so install Ubuntu, whatever language you want. Um. You know what? Let's download updates. You can choose to do that, but just for the sake of saving time, I will not. Uh, actually, I yeah, might as well save time after installation. Erase disk and install Ubuntu. Yeah, because the whole virtual disk we created is just for Ubuntu. So install now. Um, you could encrypt Ubuntu installation for security. I'm not going to choose that option. Or this, or I'm not going to choose something else. I'm just going to choose a good old erase and write. This is all correct. You don't have to worry about this. You shouldn't have to change anything. You won't have to change anything. Continue. So it's going to erase the disk. Um, I'm in Houston. English, U.S. 
works. Yeah, I'm not gonna test my keyboard. Um, ooh, cool, okay. I bet you can never guess my password for a Linux box. Four letter password. Mm, require, yes. I don't want to encrypt my home folder, but I want to require my password on login. Continue. Okay, so copying files. Yeah, uh, the rest should be smooth sailing. Yeah, and this is great for, um, like I was using the Kali box in a, oh, using the Kali box in the GNS3 lab where I set the iOS router up as the DHCP server. Um, and this can just be another host that you have on your GNS3. You can put it behind a firewall, do whatever you want. Uh, it's really nice instead of having to use the virtual PCs that they give you, where it's just a command line or you just set the IP address. This is uh, more immersive, I guess. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's nice to be able to put together these virtual environments in a lab that you know, you're really using a Linux machine or command line, just familiarizing yourself with it. Um, okay, it's installing it now. Yes, yeah, so this setup is even easier than I remember. I thought it would ask you some domain name stuff and company. And... No, it's just just a, just an install. Oh, there we go. Oh wow, that's fast. Hopefully, this doesn't take all day, or you can just skip through it, or if you like watching a loading progress bar you can watch this because it's a blast I just want to skip this part <laughs> this is not important just skip it oh. geez maybe I should not have downloaded this oh my goodness gracious well, I'm assuming if you wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have chosen the option to download while I install, this would probably be a much faster process. Um, and by default, I didn't even, uh, other than what I showed you with creating the Ubuntu virtual hard drive, I didn't touch any of the network adapters or add or change anything. I think whatever uh, VirtualBox gives you or the adapter to signs uh, is automatically connected to your 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 your, uh, your internet your home network so you should be able to ping uh, outside your network I guess using that um, there we go um, and this video is just for setting up the virtual client um, and then another video I'll show what the job base is banging it's a little too noisy let's see sorry I can stop mid since um, the next video will be how to s transfer this virtual box into GNS3 by changing the, the adapters it's it's very simple as far as I remember it's just a matter of going in here network and then I, I don't want to touch it now because I don't want to mess anything up but um, actually I think that option that I'm looking for is in GNS3 when you when you do this put it into GNS3 all that will be explained in the video so if you already know how to do what I'm doing I'm assuming you probably aren't watching this video <laughs> anymore but uh, the, the next one will be how to introduce these boxes into GNS3 so we can make some fun labs and neat pen testing environments maybe yeah alright anytime now 
There we go, installation is complete. So let's restart it now. And I don't even think that I really need to. Oh. Actually, let's do this. This, um. Because I had to do this on my. Okay, so it is empty. On the other one, I had to. The Junos, or PF Sense, I did. I had to eject the disk, and I guess it already did that for me. Uh, so the installation medium has been removed. Um, sorry for this super low resolution. Alright, so that's it. You're good to go. That is how you get an Ubuntu or any, if you have the iOS disk drive, disk image, uh, how to whip it up in VirtualBox and have some, some good old times with it. So, uh, thanks a lot. Hopefully this was helpful.